hey, this is Kevin. Thanks very much for reading uh, along, hopefully, and enjoying my recitations. Obviously, I'm doing a little bit of an unexpected cadence and timbre, which would have been more reflective of sacred styles of art at the time of Shakespeare, including the Baroque, or in India, uh, what was called Drupad, or the Steadfast Evening Stars poetry, poetry of the Steadfast Evening Star. Both of these styles can still be seen in productions that have been recorded of Royal Shakespeare Company, etc. And of course, um, the rather gauntleted gamut of Sir Stuart is, uh, has a bounty in its ability to be non-dual by the, our modern forms of art. And uh, his, of course, wonderful sense of letters. So I hope that there is some benefit in watching mine as well. It certainly is a joy to learn and increase my erudition in, in uh, doing this at this interesting time in history. So I hope that my readings are not too soft from work. And uh, with that in mind, as well as my own experience with uh, Sacred Studies and Broadway, which is where I first saw Sir Stewart uh, as house staff in the back of the house at uh, Roundabout Theatre Company's productions uh, that he did in 2005. I watched his full run uh, of a show there, and Drew's the caretaker, which was a bit hard with him, let me just tell you. Regardless. And yet. Sonnet 74. But be contented when that foul arrest without or fail shall carry me away. My life hath in this line some interest, for which memorial still with thee shall stay. When thou reviewest this, Thou dost review the very part was consecrate to thee. The earth can have but earth, which is his due. My spirit is thine, the better part of me. So then thou hast but lost the dregs The prey of worms, my body being dead, the coward conquest of a wretch's knife, too base of thee to be remembered, the worth of fat is that which it And that is this, and this with thee remains.